Hello everyone, Bermi here, a member of DX Engineering Development Team to share with you not just what's new, but what's hot with our DX Content Manager. And it's none other than our all-new Design Studio. Showing you here is the landing page for our Nepalus Hotel Lobby Renovation Project, which showcases the work led by our Woodburn Studio designers. This is also the landing page that we'll try to build using our new Design Studio. So let's get started. Now we're at DX Practitioner Studio. Let's navigate the content sites where we can see all the sites available at this point. We have the Palace Hotel site, let's select that. And we can see some sample pages we have here. Let's try checking out one. And we can see some information related to our profile page, like its status, last modified by, on, but for this demo, let's try creating our own page. Let's name it Demo Landing Page. And let's select Create and Edit. This will automatically land us to the page editor of our design studio. In, we, in here, we have the blank canvas where we can build and design our page. But before that, let me tour you a bit first. So we have on the left side panel, the pages of our site. We can even create our new blank page here on the other hand in the right side panel we have here various layout elements and blocks that we can use to build our page we also have styling settings and layers panel which in a bit i'll show you on how we can use so let's start by creating the hero section of our landing page by adding a section layout element and then let's add a content container. Content container is actually a very powerful element that we have for Design Studio as it enables us to consume or use the contents, the, um, the artifacts from our existing Wicam contents. Like for example, for this case, let's use the Palace Hotel Hero section. So we're already using that Wicam content. Then let's pull in an image from that content to be specific, a background image. As you can see, we have the image here. Now let's resize that a bit. Okay, this looks nice to me now. Then let's add another element, which in this case is a div block element. I'll use a div block here just so I can group the, the other parts of your section that I want to add. At this point, let me update or style some position of it. So let's make it absolute, adjust some relative to parent position, just so it would look similar to what um, the design that we want to achieve. So, mm, looks similar to me now. Then let's add another image element, which in this case, I might you might have guessed, our palace hotel icon. Okay, let's style that again. So make it block. Then we don't need a minimum height. But let's add some margin to be specific. Uh, 150 pixel bottom margin. Just so the next elements will not be cluttered with it. So at this time, our next element is a text element. And it would be the title of our hero section. We cannot see it yet, but don't fret. We'll just style it as usual. So let's make the font color white first, then make the font size bigger, and then let's set it to Arial and make it bold face. So looking better. Um, at this point, let me add the other parts or the remaining parts of our hero section, namely the description. Same drill, it's not visible. So let's make it white, adjust it a bit, set the font, and let's add the last element of our hero section, which is our call to action button, which is a link block element. At this point, I'll just rinse and repeat the process of adding an element and styling them. And fast forward after that process, we'll eventually be able to create our stunning landing page. So as you can see in here, we have the entire Palace Hotel landing page with some other parts like the pa about the Palace Hotel, Project Scope, the gallery, featured product, and of course, our designer. So now that I have all the elements in here, 
I realized I actually want to specify some parts like this hotel gallery. To do that, let me make a class styling title highlight. Copy that so I can use it to use it for others. Then let's make it red. So let me pick these colors. It would pop more to the eye. And then aside from that, I want to emphasize our designer. To do that, let me reuse that styling. Now it's in there. And also our project scope. At this point, I'm happy with our landing page. But I realize our user would actually not just view it in desktop view. I would have guessed they might they'll be using other devices like tablet or mobile. So at this point, aside from making our page beautiful, I want to make it device responsive. To do that with our design studio, let's click this tablet view. So as this is the view that our users would see if they're using a tablet. Um, before the session, I already designed some parts of it, but oh, I guess I missed styling some parts. So let's continue to style it. So let's make that column so the, the text won't be clipped. This one looks stretched to me. So let's adjust the height. I guess make it smaller. That one, much better. And this part, the images look cluttered to me. So I want them to look much better by making the flex wrap. Now, at this point, I'm happy with our tablet view. Please take note that whatever styling that I applied here will not impact or affect the styling we applied to our desktop view. As you can see, it's still the same, it retained the styles, and vice versa. At this point, I'm actually really happy with my page. Aside from creating a stunning one, I was able to create a device-responsive landing page in a few minutes or in a short span of time. Actually, creating sites and pages is already possible with our existing product, but that requires some technical skills like CSS coding and others just to, of course, style it. So, but as you can see in our design studio, those that skill is not required because design studio empowers business users, designers, and content content authors to design the page without um, the need to code. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed our short exploration of design studio. And we're hoping to hear from you. Together, let's make Design Studio a tool that's more enjoyable and fun to build sites from. Thank you.